from the Olympic Peninsula to parts of the growing east side. The Seattle Fault Zone consists of several fractures stretching east to west, putting more than 4 million people at risk of earthquakes. It starts over um, near the Hamahama River and it runs through Bremerton and kind of the south end of, of Bainbridge Island, south of Seattle, and then all the way over to, yeah, like Sammamish, Issaquah area. Megan Anderson is an earthquake geologist at the Washington Department of Natural Resources and lead author on a new study revealing more about why and when the fault zone was formed. Knowing its full history helps us understand, you know, how active was the fault over time and therefore help us create better forecast of how it might be active into the future. The study used magnetic tools to examine rocks below the surface of western Washington and saw how a layer of rock geologists call Celestia was pushed above and below North America around 55 million years ago. The findings argue a tear between the two zones became what's now the Seattle Fault. As this big chunk of basalt came in and smashed into the continent, it crumpled up and pieces got shoved up and over each other as it got smashed into the continent. Much attention is paid to the Cascadia subduction zone and the powerful earthquakes that could affect the coast from California to Canada. But the city of Seattle says shaking could be much more violent and prolonged during a Seattle fault quake where more than 1100 unreinforced buildings could collapse and fires could be caused. They also learn more about the types of rock beneath us. They say it's a looser form that could make seismic ground shaking stronger. Joyce. So I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, does this mean we need to be more concerned or less concerned about earthquakes than we already were? Yeah, not necessarily. It really is just in interesting information for scientists and then good information for planning for agencies. And then, you know, if we learn more about when this happened, like they said, mm -hmm. you know, they, they could know how frequent earthquakes are in the zone um, and have a little more information, but no, it's not like a clear be more worried or be less worried situation. Just more intel. Exactly. Great. Thanks, Joyce. Thanks.